Have you used this rectangle mask? When you try to extend from one side, it also extends from other side, which is very annoying for me. So I made this new square mask. Using this mask, you will be able to, to adjust each side individually. Let's make the corners rounded. And also you have all the mask option like soft edge and everything else. To install this, download it from the link in the description. Then you will get this settings file. So to install it, come to the fusion and go to the top fusion menu. Click on macro editor. Then when the macro editor open, click here files and hit open. And then drag that settings file to this folder and you are done. Close everything else. And now if you search through your nodes by typing LMX square, you will get that node. Now you see I'm not using the LMX square. The one I'm currently using is a part of my let me mask plugin. So I'm planning a big update on my let me mask plugin, which includes this current plugin with few more features like this on screen controls and border width and much more. And also, if you don't know, my Let Me Mask plugin is a collection of plugins that's available in the edit page, allows you to use mask directly on the edit page. So you will be able to use this mask and a circle mask and a custom mask. You can draw on it and invert it directly from the edit page. And in the recent update, I also have added Magic Mask, which is only available in Fusion and Color page, but now it's available in the edit page. Just a note, to use this mask, you do need to have the Resolve Studio version, otherwise it won't work. Now I can track the whole mask, but because it's a still image, I can go at the bottom here, I can click on make it still and then it will refresh it and it will remove the background from this whole clip. So if you want to grab my let me mask plugin, this is the right time because once I push the new update, I will be increasing the rate. So if you purchase it right now, then you will get all the future updates for free.